In this video on how to find industry information, we will utilize LexisNexis to find the NAICS and SIC codes for Jimmy John's and build a company list for the sub sandwich industry. Let's begin on the Business Information Services homepage. In case you have forgotten the URL, please navigate to library.illinois.edu backslash BIS backslash. Once here, we are going to want to find the LexisNexis database. If you remember from the last video, LexisNexis is found both under our key databases on the left hand side of the page, as well as under our comprehensive list of databases, which BIS subscribes to. This can be found under articles and reports titled BIS databases. Once on the alphabetical list of databases, we will navigate to LexisNexis. We will click on the hyperlink that says LexisNexis Databases. Once we are in the main page for LexisNexis, we can enter our company name, Jimmy John's, under Get Company Info, which is on the middle right hand side of the page. LexisNexis includes both private companies and public companies. On the results page, we can click on the Jimmy John's Enterprises link. LexisNexis contains information at a company level, including news, financials, and legal proceedings. However, for right now, we will just focus on the greater sub-sandwich industry. Under Industry Classification, in the center of your screen, we can see that Jimmy John's has a SIC code of 5812 and a NAICS code of 722110. Back on the header, we can navigate to the Company tab and then create a company list. This is where we can enter the NAICS code in the respective text area, seen near the top center of your screen. We can enter other parameters as needed, including searches limited to a certain geographic region or by amount of revenue. However, for right now, we will limit our search to all public companies, as this way we can view Jimmy John's major national competitors that are public companies. Then we can simply press the red create button at the top right part of your screen. Our search found 142 companies. These display results can be customized after which again we can press the red button to update the company list. For example, we can choose to include information such as the ticker symbol, different executives, the street address for the company headquarters, as well as company type the SIC code, number of employees, and other information is needed. For right now, we will simply use the default, and then we will press Update Company List. This detailed listing can be downloaded into an Excel spreadsheet for later use. This will help figuring out who the major players are within the industry. Now that we have our industry codes, we can start to seek more general industry information as well. In our next video, we will go through how to find general industry overviews using the IBIS World database. If you have any further questions, please contact the Business Information Services team.